สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Hello everyone this is Sri Rat International Relations News In this episode we will introduce one of state of the art technology that will help the surgeon to get the better outcome for the patient who need urology surgery is called Da Vinci robotic system it has been more than 10 years that we have been using this robotic system in this year Sirirat hospital just received the latest fourth generation of the robotic system and it is the only one hospital in Thailand that we have been using this and we will learn more about this robotic surgery in detail with the expert associate professor Siti Ponsi Nonat head of division of urology surgery department of surgery สวัสดีครับ professor Siti Ponsi สวัสดีครับ how are you today yeah, Good, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for your time today, and let me start with the first question. Yes. First question: How long have you been using the Da Vinci robot, and how many patients that we have treated with this system? Yes, uh, we have been using this uh, robotic system since uh, 16th of February 2007. So, it's, in fact, it's about 13 years now, and since then we perform at least about more than 205. Sorry, uh, 2,500 cases so far okay. with uh, successfully uh, result. What are the benefits and limitations of using this system? The benefit of this system is that we, we uh, can perform the operation with a less invasive uh, surgical technique. In other words, we use a, a keyhole surgery with a better magnification to get inside abdominal cavity of the patient and also with a better dexterity of the equipment to uh, improve the surgical outcome with the patient having less pain, uh, less operative time and less hospitalization uh, time and uh, better cosmetic and uh, more importantly uh, a better surgical outcome in terms of uh, keeping the potency function intact and also the incontinence function is, is less than it used to be. So it's improved the patient uh, quality of life? Too. Yes, yes. Okay. Improved the quality of life of the patient. As we just received the fourth generation robot with two systems, mm -hmm. uh, what is the differences between the new one and the old one? Well, the, the fourth system, uh, fourth generation of the system that we have got uh, recently, uh, if improve the visualization and uh, the machine itself is more slim, so you can get access to all every angle uh, of the patients. So it's improved quality of the operation and also expand the usage of the system. And uh, other than that, we have the synchronized mode of the table and the system. When we move uh, the system along the table uh, of the operating table, we move along together with the system. So that move better in terms of getting the access to a difficult area. For instance, the area that is very small and tiny uh, hole that we can get into. So using this system, we will improve the surgical outcome and benefit for the resection is uh, better than the old system. Due to the very high cost of this system, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that it is possible to integrate this system to the universal health coverage to cover all the grassroots population? Yeah, I think right now we have the uh, scheme that can help the uh, people in the grassroots of Thailand so they can come to uh, Sirat Hospital and we have the budget allocated by the uh, hospital ex executive committees that to help them uh, using the system uh, with a minimal uh, amount of money that have to pay or some people we, we treat them for free uh, okay. for, for the system. So in terms of the access to the new technology system, City Life Hostel has this policy that we, we want to help everyone uh, to get into the uh, better and the best technology uh, in the uh, surgical field. Okay. What is the new thing that will happen in the future about a robotic surgery, Professor? Well, I think uh, in robotic surgery in the future, I think every hospital, I mean the bigger hospital, uh, like a provincial hospital or the referral center, in every referral center uh, in Thailand, uh, should be able to have it. And because I think it's the future 
of the surgery because uh, uh, it has a better outcome in terms of removing the tumor out, uh, uh, less breathing, and good recovery, and a better recovery time. So I think in the future, this is a, a system that will be available in every hospital. I mean, the major hospital, UNICE hospital, provincial hospital, and uh, uh, several centers. I think in the future, they will be there. Last question, regarding your expertise, uh, what is your plan that will occur in CIRAD and how it will be beneficial for people? Uh, well, CIRAD uh, Hospital, we have the plan to establish the robotic surgical centers at CIRAD Hospital. Uh, right now, we have uh, three systems operating with uh, robotic uh, surgery. One with a uh, uh, third version and uh, the other two is a fourth version system uh, uh, operating in the same area uh, in this hospital. And hopefully we can get uh, a better collaboration between the university hospital, for instance, Sirat, uh, Lama Tripodi, and Chualongkorn, and other uh, hospital that is uh, uh, in the, the link of mm -hmm. our hospital. Kanjana uh, Pise, or even the Sirat Piyya Maharashtralun Hospital that can uh, refer the patient to this robotic center and we do the operation with a better outcome, with a, a good uh, audit through the system and also improving uh, the patient's outcome in terms of the training for the surgeon and the nurse and the future will be the uh, regional center for the training for the new young generation of the surgeons and also the nursing staff that can improve the better uh, uh, outcome of surgery and okay. in terms of the better care for the patient in the future. Well, thank you very much, Professor Sidipon. You're welcome. For your valuable knowledge today. And that was the latest update of CDRAD performance in order to make a difference to the patient and people well-being. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you again next time soon. I'm Putinan. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ